All right. Sai getting first hit. You know, it'd be kind of cool to have like a a combo counter or something like that. Like you see in uh, um, like, have you seen Guilty Gear's combo counter? Like the new one? I don't think so, no. It's really funny. Because it starts out like half the screen tall. It's just like <laughs> one hit. And every single subsequent hit, it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> actually really funny. I don't think it'd work for this game, but I'd love a combo yep. counter of some kind. Oh, great catch! Sai catching the jump with down air. Lee Skano dies with meter, unfortunate. Oh, Sai not making it back. Probably should have helicopter kicked one or once or twice. Okay. Look at that. Sai just actually just charged underneath the Thunder Cloud before the rain actually started. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this damage over time has been doing a lot. Any way you can avoid it. All right. It's a good back air. But size living with that burst. Oh, this could be more even than it looked. Ooh, really good use of that sandball to recover it from this guy now. Oh, the rare down B cloud. Yeah, just missed the follow up on that also. Yeah. That is. Ooh, that was stock. the Bermuda Triangle DI on the forward air. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're gonna have to Basically, explain that one to down me. Down and out on down. a move that is, like sends like flatish. Okay. <laughs> I always say when I say things look more even than they might appear, I'm considering it in terms of like what's kill percent for each of these characters. It's also true that when you said that there, they were both at exactly they were, they 100%. They were exactly at the same percent, but also, like, Ribjack <laughs> definitely had an advantage. Oh my god! The SD. Not a good way to start the set. Yeah. That's not something we see very often from Liz Gunna. We typically like they, have very good control over the character. They, they might have been at, like, the exact same stocks and the exact same percent, but I would still give it to Ribjack just because... Ripjack just has to land, like, one move, and Seth I mean, might have to land another, like, five. I I don't even think it's that Ripjack, like, Seth can also do it in one move, it's just that Ripjack can do it in any move, while Seth needs to land one of a specific few. I feel like sometimes I give Ripjack a little bit more credit, now that I, like, I'm listening to my own justification for what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like... Is Rip Jack Rip really? Jack is winning because Seth can't kill. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Rip Jack winning because Seth can't kill. Wait a minute. That's not right. That's extremely wrong. All right. Looks like we're going to go to Oasis Palace again for game number two. Yeah. Like, he's going to have that, really. Just sd right at the end. All right, let's get to it. All right, once again, Sai just charging in and underneath the projectile. I mean, why not? Yep. All right. Nice one-two from these Kano, even as up the percents. Okay. 
<laughs> these, these short hops from Lee's Kano, they actually look really funny and I don't know why. I think it's because short hop <laughs> with Ribjack is actually the shortest hop. <laughs> wow, Sai barely making that back. Yeah, Seth does have really good drift after her update. All right. Is Lee's, yeah, I was about to say, is Lee's Kano going to use that projectile to come back? Yes, they did. Yeah, that's something Sai's been doing a lot, where he just sort of puts out the sand shot to cover a recovery option, but then doesn't actually, isn't actually in position to punish it if they can't get hit by it. Yeah, I feel like it, against Ribjack specifically, I wouldn't want to use that in that matter, just because, oh, that was some great damage. Just because yep. of the fact that already you have like a very linear recovery that you're fighting against, why give them any more help? Yeah. Like, you can pretty easily predict where they're going to be. If or, like, even if you are going to use the sand shot, just make sure you can cover it, especially with how many, like, yeah. both Fliscano and Espresso in these past two sets. We've seen them using the sand shot and not really getting punished for it. I going down with meter because that hitbox wasn't where it looked like. Yeah, Scion is last stock now. At least Kano yeah. looking very strong. And I'm out here just wanting to prove the last game. Just a fluke because he SD'd. Not an indicator oh. of who's going to win this set. But that is not a good sign for this showing that the SD was just Lise a fluke. Kano. It keeps happening. This Kano does still have a lead here and forces Burst out of Psy. Like, Psy's only still under 80%, but could still die to... Yeah. Like, anything from Ripjack. Alright, Psy's gonna make it back. Ooh! 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 No sweet spot from Psy there, and nothing. that's gonna be the stop. You get nothing! I guess, with Psy playing on keyboard, you can't really sweet spot you need like more than eight angles to do the, that the downside of playing on keyboard i guess yeah you're right i think like, there's more downsides than that to play good keyboard okay so yeah, there's there's more downsides than that but yeah no it's just like you're right he just couldn't make the angle that is that looks like it was a hundred percent what happened All right, Sai versus Lee's Kano, game three. We're gonna go to Fire Temple. Yep. Oasis Palace cannot be picked anymore. It is DSR for both players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gotta say, I feel like Lee's Kano would really like this stage. I can see why Lee's Kano... Actually, no, yeah, this was but... Sai's pick. What? Yeah, like, I can see why Sai picked it too, though, because... More so for yeah! Lee's Kano specifically, that was... than for Ripjack. That was 67%! Okay, this might have been a bad pick for Sai. Yeah, no kidding! But I can see what he was thinking with denying Lee's Kano the platforms with which he can move so well. I mean, yeah, but also... <laughs> Everyone go harass Match GG until they had buried stages so we could have raging for this. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised when they said they didn't have that. Then again, that's probably a nightmare to, like, represent on the stage selection. I mean, you can just show it as an option for counter picks and then show it grayed out if it's banned. Hmm. Oh, at least Ooh, Kano. Ooh, just back to... 
I'd really like that drift back to hit Sai with the uh, bait. Yeah, why not? Just get an extra, like, seven damage in. Oh, that was a good dodge. Oh, no! Sai went down with meter. Liskano's up smashes, like, I'm just never ready for them. They are a thing. <laughs> <laughs> they are a thing. Like, I've seen enough Azumi Vault. I should be ready for them. But you just aren't. All right, game four. We're going to go to Festive Jungle. Sai seems to have now, seems to now agree that, yes, Fire Temple was a bad choice. Yeah. <laughs> You're basically given a character that has an arcing projectile that covers a lot of space and then stays on the stage with another projectile that covers like a whole vertical slice of the stage and has like the the heavy like hits that he has what a stage without any obstructions and narrow blast zones. Yeah. It's a it's, it's not a great time. Still, though, so this I, stage. I do like this stage a lot better for Sai. Yeah. It's got those classic, comfortable jungle blast zones. And also, just like. Lisketo can move well on these platforms, but. They'll interfere with the projectiles a lot more. I like how you said. And... But. And while you said, but. Least Kano was just like doing this ring around this left platform with the wave lands, <laughs> wave dashes off of it. I'm just like, where's the butt? Excuse me? Where's the downside to this one? See, that's the problem. Stage Every stage either has platforms that he could move on or no platforms. Ripjack, You've seen why that's a bad idea. Ripjack's just a terrifying character. <laughs> Is Ripjack terrifying or is Lee Scanner terrifying? Let's be honest Let's here. Both. <laughs> Lee's, I'm not trying to discount Lee Scanner's skill at all because there's definitely a lot of it. Like, I think this is what's the Hodor quote? Specifically, in Azumi, Azumi and Connor's Olaf are the best character in the game. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the uh, the the Hodor quote when he said Vandal was a bug. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> She's like, hey, what's with this issue? It's a bug. Vandal also. <laughs> I think we have that one pinned in links and media. Yeah. Man, I miss when our Discord was active enough to get conversations out of context. <laughs> Shout out to Darkest Laugh Killing His Boss. Oh my god, I remember that one! <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we don't need the context for that. We don't need the context for that. Oh, Lee's Kano. Nicely done. Moving on yeah. to Grand Finals, getting that rematch. I miss Cheese Sandwich. I miss Cheese Sandwich too. We all miss cheese sandwich. I miss cheese. We're not even like naming the player. We're just saying I miss cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why? Why are you holding up bracket? I need to eat a cheese sandwich. <laughs> what do you mean you need to eat a cheese sandwich? My dad made me a cheese sandwich, and I have to eat it. Can't you do both? No. 